Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 15. A lot of people will want to update their devices to iOS 15 the minute it gets released. And of course, I don't blame them. It's a great update with a lot of amazing features. But whether you want to update the first minute it gets released or maybe a few days or even a few weeks after, there are a few simple steps that I suggest you guys should follow before trying to update your device so that you get a very nice and smooth transition when updating your device from iOS 14 or even iOS 15 beta to the latest iOS 15 public release. So in this video, I will show you guys a few simple tips and tricks that I believe every one of you guys should follow before trying to update your device to iOS 15. Now, first of all, let's just get this out of the way. Should you update and when should you update? So I suggest if you have one of the older devices, the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, the SE, or even the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus, I suggest you guys should wait for a few days to see the feedback from the people that install this on their devices. Of course, it has been on betas, but on betas, very few people will get the software on their devices. And when it gets released to the public, that's when millions of devices get the software, of course, and you will have a huge feedback. And you can basically see how people will react to it, how it will work on their devices, and then see and of course judge whether you should update or not your device from iOS 14 to iOS 15. And of course, if you have one of the newer devices, you can just update right away. Now you might expect to have a few problems, of course, a few bugs and glitches and stuff like that, but it's of course the initial release will get new updates probably very, very soon. So if you're trying to update the first day, the first minute it gets released, here are a few simple tips and tricks that I suggest you guys should follow before trying to do that. First of all, make sure you have enough battery on your device. Make sure you have at least like 60%. Now iOS won't let you update if you have less than 50%. I suggest you have even more because of this is a huge update. It will probably come to your device at around four to five gigs. So you will have to maybe wait for a few minutes for it to be downloaded. And then of course the installation process as well. So make sure you have enough battery. I know that's a simple trick, but it might keep you up updating before you charge your device. Next, of course, you will need to have free space on your device. I said this is a big update, so you will need to have quite a lot of space. You will most likely need to have at least like eight gigs, maybe seven or eight on your device before trying to install iOS 15. So make sure you go to settings, you go to general, and under iPhone storage right here, you will see how much free space you have on your device. So again, make sure you have like seven or eight for newer devices, maybe even 10. So that will come of course on a bigger size on newer devices, and then you will need more space on your device in order for the update to install. I've seen reports from a lot of people when like new softwares come out that they cannot update their device. Most of the time is this simple problem. They don't have enough free space on their device. So just make sure you go ahead and free up space on your device. Delete something like maybe apps or games that you have, and you can install later once you have updated your device. There are a lot of apps that will take a lot of space and games as well, so make sure you just delete them. And then of course, you can install them right back on your device once you have done updating your device to iOS 15. And then of course, is also the basic step. Always back up your device before updating. I always do it through iTunes, through my computer, never done it through iCloud. That's just the way I do it. But of course, you can even do it on iCloud. You enable the backup from your Apple ID on your settings app and just make sure that you have enabled here everything that you want to backup. Now, everything that is off right here won't be backed up to your iCloud account. So before doing it, make sure you have turned on the switches for everything that you want to back up to your iCloud before updating your device. Now, of course, updating is not anything risky. 99.99% .99 of the time it will go very smooth, but just in case you might have any problems with your device, it's always best to have a backup of your data. If you have iOS 15 beta on your device, then the process of installing the public version of iOS 15 on your device will be a bit different. Now, first of all, there are two different scenarios. That means you have the GM installed or not. If you're on beta 8, then you will have to go to general right here and then go to VPN and device management. 
and make sure you find the profile for iOS 15 beta and remove it from your device before you try to update to iOS 15, the public release. If you have already installed the GM version, that means that you won't get a public release update even though you might remove the profile from here. Because the GM version and the public version are basically the exact same software, they will even have the exact same build number, so you don't get an update because you already have that update with, of course, the GM version that you have downloaded through the profile that you have installed on your device. But if you don't have the GM, you're still on beta 8, you can remove the profile from here, of course reboot your device, and then you will go straight to the public release of iOS 15. Now for the future, if you want to keep getting updates regularly, just the public releases, not the beta softwares, even if you have like updated to iOS 15 and you might still have right here the profile. So if you just want to get the public releases from now on that you don't want to install any more betas, make sure you go ahead and remove the profile from here because if you don't, you will get updates from the new betas of iOS 15 which will come out probably very very soon for iOS 15.1. Now once you have followed all these steps, you make sure that you want to update first of all, you make sure that you know this runs good on your device and of course you have enough battery, you have enough storage, you have removed the beta profile from your device and you can go ahead and simply go to settings, go to general, go to software update and right here you will see the update for iOS 15, you just click install and you're good to go. Now, of course, that will be done by people who just trying to install iOS 15 as soon as possible on their device. For other people who don't really care about installing it really, really fast, you can do that automatically. Basically, your device can do that automatically for you. Now, to do that, you will need to go to general, go to software update right here and just go to automatic update. You will have two options here to download the software update and then install it manually or to enable both of these and have all that process be done automatically. So the software will be downloaded and installed without you having to do anything, everything will be done in the background so you don't need to really worry about it. Now this might take a few hours, maybe even days before it gets done, so if you're just trying to install it right away, make sure you go ahead and manually check right here. So September 15th. 10 a.m. Pacific time, you will get the update right here under the software update page on your settings app. Really great update. I suggest everyone go ahead and update their device to iOS 15. So that is it for this video guys, these are a few simple tips and tricks that you need to follow in order to have a very smooth experience when installing iOS 15 on your device and install it the proper way without having any problems. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe for more iOS 15 videos which will come out very very soon, I have a lot of videos planned, a lot of great content is coming so make sure you subscribe and of course don't forget to leave a like on this video.